Hello everyone, I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about induction heating, the principle of induction heating, advantage and application of induction heating. Let us start uh, with induction heating. We know that induction heating is possible in case of metal. We use uh, induction heating for different type of heating treatment like surface hardening, annealing, brazing, melting, etc. Let us study working principle of induction heating. We have our job which is to be heated and we use one coil that is known as a work coil to warm around the load or we call it charge and we pass a high frequency AC supply to the coil. When we pass AC supply with very high frequency to the work coil, magnetic field is generated and because of magnetic field, flux is generated and because of the flux, EMF will induce in the load or the metal which is to be heated and because of induced EMF, there will be an eddy current passes through the metal and we use this eddy current loss to hit our job. Here we can easily understand the working principle. Here we are giving AC supply with very high frequency to the coil and because current passes through the coil, magnetic field is generated fluxes are generated and because of flux EMF induced in the charge and because the charge is short circuited eddy current will pass through the metal and the eddy current loss that will be used for the heating treatment for the surface heating of the metal. This is model of the induction heating. We normally have AC supply so normally we get the DC supply converted from the AC supply then we use the inverter very high frequency AC supply is generated through the inverter and then we give current to the coil when current passes through the coil alternating flux is generated and in the metal or job any current will pass due to induced EMF and this eddy current loss will be using for the heating treatment. Depth of penetration The radial depth of conductor at which the current density becomes 37% then depth of surface of conductor is known as depth of penetration. We know the skin effect when we supply DC to the conductor, we know that uh, current density is uniform throughout the cross section area of the conductor. But in case of AC supply, when we give AC supply to any conductor, we observe a skin effect. At the outer periphery of the conductor, we have highest current density. And as we travel towards the center of the conductor, current density decreases and at the center it becomes zero. So depth of penetration is very important in case of surface hardening. The radial depth of conductor at which the current density becomes 37 percent then depth of surface of conductor is known as depth of penetration and the equation for the depth of penetration can be given as delta delta is known as depth of penetration and that can be in meter and that is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by under root rho multiplied by 10 raised to 7 divided by mu r multiplied by frequency where delta that is depth of penetration in meter rho that is a resistivity in ohm meter that is 
for the metal which is need to be heated mu r that is relative permeability and f that is frequency of the supply from the equation we know that depth of penetration is directly proportional to the resistivity as well as it is inversely proportional to the frequency as well as relative permeability if we increase the frequency then depth of penetration decrease so for the surface hardening purpose we can adjust any depth of penetration as per our requirement now let us study certain factors which affect the choice of frequency we know that depth of penetration is inversely proportional to the frequency first factor that is size of the object smaller size of the object higher the frequency we require high frequency for very small size of the object to be heated second factor that is a relative permeability higher the relative permeability lower the requirement of the frequency depth of penetration smaller depth of penetration higher frequency is required resistivity higher the resistivity lower the frequency thermal conductivity higher the thermal conductivity lower the depth of penetration and higher the frequency is required application we use high frequency induction heating for surface hardening for deep hardening also we use for tempering and annealing process soldering and brazing smelting process welding melting forging we use uh, in various application we have certain advantage of induction heating induction heating is very simple very fast and very clean process at the same time efficiency is very high and to improve the efficiency of the induction heating process the magnetic coupling between coil and the charge must be very high accurate temperature control is possible in case of induction heating desired depth of penetration can be achieved there is no requirement of the skilled worker to operate the equipment heat treatment of irregular shape is also possible heating can be possible in vacuum or any special atmosphere and certain features of the induction heating very fast heat treatment avoids deformation of the object higher temperature is possible heat treatment is possible to any specific part of the object if not require in the entire object we can have a surface hardening or any process of heating to the specific part of the object no direct contact of object with current carrying coil so heating is very safe thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much